word paper was created from the word papyrus, which was an ancient Egyptian writing tool and resembled paper. Papyrus was created sometime within 3000 BCE in Egypt. Paper is known to have been created by the Chinese in 105 AD. During the Han Dynasty, a Chinese government official named Tsai Lun created a sheet of paper by mixing mulberry bark and hemp rags with water, smashing it flat and letting it dry in the sun. Later after this creation, he started a paper making industry. This creation soon made its way to the US and by the 19th century, a paper making machine was created that made paper from wood pulp. This creation soon advanced over the years and paper became as we know it today. Paper has been used to make various things like newspapers, job applications, bulletins and posters, notebooks and books, and many more things. But it has also had a bad effect on our world, such as deforestation. Tree after tree after tree has been destroyed to be sent to a paper making factory to produce paper. This is a daily repetitive process. Every day, another forest is being stripped of more and more trees. This has proved to be a negative effect and is pushing us closer to global warming. This has also caused the removal of animals from their natural habitats. Cellulose is composed of elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These are all non-metals. In September, we went over physical and chemical changes. During our paper making process, the paper went through a physical change. When mixed with water and starch, it became a liquid-like substance. After it cooled and became a solid, it still was the same product as before, except its physical shape had changed. In October, we went over measurement. The typical density of paper ranges anywhere from 0.25 grams to 1.52 grams. Later in November, we discussed the drawing of atoms and different elements and isotopes. The element of cellulose and paper are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which we learned in December were all nonmetals. During our paper making process, by adding water mixed with rice starch, it caused the breakdown of the cellulose into a smaller product like glucose, which is a monosaccharide. Once the water had evaporated and the starch was present, the elements bonded on a molecular level, which created cellulose, which is a polysaccharide, therefore leaving us with our final product, paper. These are the type of materials that you are going to be using. The first thing you need is rice. The second thing you need is three different sizes of Tupperwares. The third thing you need is a screen. Make sure the shape is in a square or a rectangle. The fourth thing you need is a pastel and a mortal. And the fifth thing you need is a lot, lot of water. the rice very thoroughly to collect all of the rice starch out of it. Make sure to rinse it about three times and collect the leftover water because the starch is what is in it. This here is how it should look like. Step two is to cut as much paper as you can into little pieces. Step 3 is to let all the pieces of paper soak in water for about 15 minutes. Step 
four is to place all the soaked water into the mortar and smush it so that it's very smushed up together with a pestle. Make sure that it's all in one piece and very smushed. Step 5. Put all of the smushed paper into the bucket of starch water. Step 6. Use the smallest hoverware to put the pieces of wet paper over the screen. Spread it around so that it's straight and let it sit and dry. In this photo, the paper is still in the process of drying. After 7 hours of drying, this is how the pieces of paper should turn out to look like. If you want to add decorations or foil to it to look nice, this is how it will turn out.